The plans for the Coletta Hilton project consist of three buildings comprising 126 apartments and 160 hotel rooms. The actual design is in the early stages of development. Despite concerns on the scale, visual impact and the cumulative effects of other developments in the area, the project has been given the green light. The Commission asked that testing on the soil and geology be included in the environmental impact assessment, which was already composed of a comprehensive list including air quality, heritage, community recreation and tourism, as well as the visual impact on the landscape. Planning permission and EIA approval were also granted with conditions that need to be implemented for revetment works to protect the construction, future buildings and infrastructure for San Centenary terraces and the east side. Materials for it will arrive from Spain by road or by sea and then by road to the site. Works are expected to start in March next year and are expected to take 22 weeks for the site preparation and 43 weeks for construction. After mitigating measures in the EIA, negative effects are considered negligible in areas such as transboundary effects and air and water quality. On the ecology, a survey will take place for the recreation of habitat. Protected limpets are expected to be relocated. The traffic plan will need to cater for the cumulative works in the area. Working hours will also need to be limited. The Environmental Safety Group expressed concerns on the impact on beach users. Also at the meeting, a proposal for serviced apartments and commercial units at the ground floor at 28 to 34 Turnbull's Lane was approved unanimously. The building is dilapidated with the project forming part of urban renewal. Two applications, one for an extension at Ordnance Wharf and one for a proposed demolition at Engineer Lane and construction of a six-level residential apartment block were refused unanimously.